Don't compromise, just use your eyes Take a look inside the millennial mind Millennial, millennial, millennial mind Welcome back to the millennial mind You might call us lazy and entitled But it's time you started to understand the millennial generation And break free of those negative stereotypes And who better to tell you this? Who better to help get you mindset right to get millennials from entitled to engage than two, it's right, two millennials themselves. I'm Garrett Wagner, your entrepreneurial CPA channel host, and I'm here with my fellow millennial, the man that can rap about anything, the entrepreneur, the rapping CPA, Drew Carrick. Now, Drew, I thought we'd talk about today kind of the changing mentality that people have. And I'm going to share a little personal story that I had recently with you. I was talking to an older partner of a CPA firm. And he was very clear that he wanted to be the same CPA firm he was 30 years ago. And he thought the only value people brought to the table inside that CPA firm was that they reviewed tax returns. So it blew me away that statement because pretty much everything he said was wrong. You know, you, you can't stay the same as you were 30 years ago in any industry or company. And then the mindset that the only way you add value to a CPA firm is reviewing tax returns shows how to, out of touch he was. You know, it's such a, a broken and an old mentality that, you know, it seems like we've been preaching this, you know, for years now and it's, people still aren't necessarily always grasping it. Uh, you have to have, they have to have an open mind and it's clear from your example that not, not everybody's on board with that where they, they see that it's the billable hours is what your value is. Um, it's that it's however many, uh, tax returns you do, which is how much you're worth. Uh, however many audits you can complete is yeah. what we value it at. Um, and it's just, it's worked for a while, but in recent, in the recent decade, and especially going into the future, it's just, it's not what's going to hold value and it's not what millennials are going to be receptive to. And especially not what Gen Z coming up is going to be receptive to. Uh, so, you know, it's hard to even change somebody's mind who kind of has that mentality. We can only hope and do our best to try to explain that, you know, you can create content which can bring in, you know, recognition for the company, bring in the brand and perhaps increase the amount of clientele that you actually have. So there's value there that's not involved with doing a tax return. Um, and then for your colleague who has experience with financial planning and, and raising capital and dealing with deep financial and investment issues, there's so much that they can provide as well that everything, is, everything about an accounting firm is not just you know, taxes and audits. Uh, there, there's so much value that can be added in other sort of areas that leaders need to be aware of. Well, it's kind of like, Drew, right now you work, if I'm, if I'm not wrong, at a, at a college university, right? Right. Do you, do you teach college courses? Not at the moment. I've adjunct a couple times. So, so you don't really add value to the organization then? Like that's their widget, like our tax return. So like pretty much everybody inside the university that they either the teacher or they're not adding value. Is that how you guys look at it? <laughs> Definitely not, but that's a good, that's, that's, I think a spot on analogy. And that's that, that piece that the, these older practitioners in the accounting space have to wake up to that. That's how actual businesses run. That's how actual businesses are operating. Pick an industry. I don't care what it is. You're not going to show me one where hundred percent of people do that thing that make that widget. Just like you work at a university, you have value there. You contribute to them. You're an important part of the team. And, but you will probably, you adjunct, you said, but most don't, I'm sure most people there don't teach classes. It's probably, what do you think percentage of the employees teach classes there? Well, I mean, I, I know just from a budgeting standpoint, most universities, around 5% of the salaries budgeted is for that sort of uh, administrative, you know, that, that the finance office sort of area, um, which, which, which tells you a lot about, you know, the, the, the structure of, of the universities and whatnot. I mean, just, I just, I mean, you think about, you know, the people, if, you know, if I wasn't there, if other people in my office weren't there and it was just teachers running the whole thing, the entire thing would fall apart because, I mean, that's, that's why an administration was created is to allow the teachers to do what they do and allow us to administer the entire business. I think that's right. That's why CPA firms are falling apart because they try to take everybody and make them be widget makers, tax return reviewers, 
audit reviewers. Everyone had to be production line or there's no value there. It's a broken model. That's not how any industry service runs. And that's about how we as millennials see things differently. You know, we don't want to be part of that broken system cycle. We talked about before information overload. We can learn so much in our generation about how to actually run a successful company or business. And once you learn those things, once your eyes have been opened to the different way to do things, people say it's that transformation. You can never see the world again. That's how us millennials view this. We see this transformation of here's how the world is. So why do I want to be part of the way it used to be that never worked? Uh, if other people do, that's where you get this disconnect inside firms and organizations. The past generations never had that transformation. They don't want to for whatever reason we have. How do we, how do we close that gap? Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be one of those things that as older generations phase out and only those that do adapt survive. And as the millennials now becoming the largest work, you know, the largest group in the workforce move into those middle and upper management level positions and, and then very soon those upper, you know, higher level management positions uh, to eventually being the leaders of companies within the next decade, uh, that's when it's 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 live or die, you know, it's sink or swim, and and the realization will will be had, um, and you just, you know, we we can do our best to try and be agile and adapt as quickly as possible. Adapt, be agile. You know, there's some key points. You know, we to go back to the prior point, we kind of glanced over of that idea. Of, I want to be the same CPA firm I was 30 years ago. Is also broken and unrealistic. It's part of that transformation. We've embraced that as a millennial generation. We don't want to be a CPA from like there was 30 years ago. And if you still want to do that, that's where these hiring problems and challenges come in. Yeah. You gotta wake up your eyes, make a pivot, embrace the future. Stop being so stuck in the past, stuck in your ways. It's never going to work. You're not adding value. You're not contributing anywhere to anyone. It's time to wake up, get your stuff together, and make change happen. And that's not to say, that's not to say that the way the firm is right now is going to be the way that you now to now need to now be for the future. I'm trying to set up for a structure where you could become something now and five years later you can become something else, but you need to be built on that concept of being malleable. Yeah. We, we talk about one of the, I do a lot of work with CPA firms and organizations, failing fast and failing forward, being able to pivot quickly as things change. Cause we live in a very drastically changing world more than ever before. So it's time to wake up, get ready to change, move away from the past, and be aware that people can provide value in different ways to a CPA firm or any company. So with that, that's all the time we have for today. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you wouldn't think this is the craziest the idea you ever heard. If you got questions, or even if you disagree with us, reach out, always happy to chat. And if you have your own thoughts on the millennial generation, the millennial mind, I'm sure you do. Take part in our millennial survey. No matter the age, we want your input. There's a link below. I encourage you to take the test. And with that, that's it for today's show. Thank you for watching. As always, click to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we challenge you today to take action to change the world and invest in yourself.